everybody to star flag media uh, today is uh, April 27th 2023 and uh, it's a sad day for entertainment news uh, the biggest news of the day is not gaming related which is usually what this channel covers um, it is the passing of Jerry Springer uh, one of the most iconic uh, talk show hosts of the 1990s and early 2000s. Um, you know, he's probably going to go down as, as one of the greatest and most controversial figures in television history. Uh, you know, I remember when uh, I was a kid and uh, Jerry uh, came on television. Uh, it was definitely... One of those things that you had to watch, especially in, in the summers when you were off school and, of course, when you miss school or on your days off um, and you caught a uh, Jerry Springer episode. Um, and it was uh, at the very beginning, just a normal talk show like you would have had um, in those days with Oprah or uh, Donahue or, Sa uh, you know, Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Um, but then. Uh, uh, on the Geraldo Rivera fight, uh, uh, excuse me, the Geraldo Rivera show, uh, there was a very uh, famous fight, and it was probably one of the most talked about segments in the history of talk shows at the uh, at that time. And I think, uh, personally, you know, there's obviously no uh, no speculation on this. This is just purely speculation, I should say. Uh, but that was probably one of those things where show producers around took a look at that and went, hmm. This is probably a ratings giant. Um, Jerry Springer's format started to change. They started allowing people to uh, go at each other and actually, uh, you know, take swipes and their security would step in. And it landed them in some hot water with the FCC and, and a lot of parent groups and censorships. And, you know, eventually they had to get wilder and crazier. But at one point, Jerry Springer was the talk show to watch. It was it surpassed Oprah Winfrey. And uh, heck, it lasted a lot longer too, 27 years on television. Um, but what many people don't know about Jerry Springer is uh, he was actually a very uh, proficient and successful um, uh, person who worked in politics for a very, very long time. Um, you know, he worked on political campaigns and advisors for uh, Robert F. Kennedy in 1968. Um, you know, that was following the Kennedy assassination uh, that he began practicing law in Cincinnati. Um, and uh, Springer was a partner in the, the law firm of Grinker and Sudman and Springer from 73 to 1985. And uh, he, you know, was an NBA uh, agent for a little bit there. Um, you know, in 1970, Jerry Springer ran for Congress. He uh, then was elected uh, Cincinnati uh, City Council in 71 and then um, even rose up to becoming the mayor. Um, you know, he eventually found himself in some hot water with a lady of the night. And, uh, you know, uh, and of course, that ended his bid in the politic world, uh, but found new life in broadcasting. Um, his career took off. He was... Uh, very famous locally uh, in his news networks, and then uh, he rose to fame when he's, his uh, talk shows went syndicated across the country and the world. Um, you know, Jerry even had a uh, 1998 movie, uh, you know, trying to capitalize off of the, the talk show success. It was called Ringmaster. Um, it was a comedy of sorts, and, uh, you know, it didn't perform that great in the box office, but just shows you how big uh, Jerry Springer was at one point in time. Um, you know, you had Hollywood knocking uh, at the door trying to get a piece of that pie. Uh, so, you know, it's a sad day. A lot of us uh, grew up watching uh, Jerry, and then uh, it, it, it spawned other shows like the Mari Povich show, Changes Format. Um, everybody around them had crazier and wilder uh, things to do, and to the point where even... They would exchange guests if somebody was uh, trying to get on the Mari Povich show and they felt this is better for Jerry or vice versa. They would just uh, swap those guests out and say, OK, let's give this person over to the other one. Uh, you know, uh, they even towards the later years of the show, uh, they kind of condensed everybody into a, uh, a studio here in Connecticut, which is my uh, home state. 
And uh, so you had uh, Jerry, you had the Steve Wilco show, and Mari Povich all filming out of the same television studios um, in Connecticut. It is, uh, you know, it's a little bit uh, sad, but, um, you know, Jerry leaves behind his legacy, which many of us, uh, you know, won't ever have uh, that, uh, that privilege of doing. You know, towards the end of his life, you could tell he was having a lot of fun. He was appearing on Dancing with the Stars. And and uh, just last, uh, I believe, last October, he was in uh, The Masked Singer. So, you know, Jerry was uh, secretly battling cancer, and, and he told no one about it. Uh, which also speaks a little bit to his character, right? He didn't seem like the kind of guy who wanted people to feel bad for him. And uh, he seemed to really enjoy life. Uh, so... Here is uh, a sad day, but also, you know, at the same time, it is uh, a shout out to one of the greats. Um, and uh, thank you for many, many days of uh, hilarity and laughs and talking about Did You Catch That Jerry episode uh, the next day at school. Um, and uh, in his uh, in his famous words, uh, you know, you know, he used to give you those those Springer thoughts and uh his his final his final thought at the end of his episode so uh just remember to take care of yourselves and each other